but I was on the good side of that side uh, of it all. Uh, and that's who she is through and through. And I'm just so happy for her. The way that she's hooping right now for us is incredible. And it's a good win for us. I don't know if necessarily it's a big win, but it's a, it's a really good win for us against a great uh, Seattle team. Uh, Got to give credit where it's due. They did everything right. They capitalized on all of our turnovers, but we just kept pushing and grinding that, grind, grinding it out. So it, it is a good win for us. Trinia? Hey, Asia, congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, unlike Friday, you guys were able to string together huge defensive stops and secure the rebound um, to end the possession. What was going through your head to make sure that the same thing didn't happen on Friday? Get the basketball. Uh, that was the biggest thing is just getting the basketball. And once we got that, then, you know, the ball is literally in your court. And uh, when a team like a Seattle that doesn't turn the ball over, you got some fine possessions uh, within it. So the biggest thing was just gaining that rebound. And that was what was on the board is gain rebound. And it took all of us. So uh, at that point, I think it was a big turnaround for us once we started capitalizing on the rebounds. Um, you guys have uh, been I don't know, on the bad side of the whistle lately, um, it seems, and it seemed like in that clutch moment, um, the game was almost about to slip out of your hands uh, with those calls, but you guys maintained everything, and, you know, what did you do to just push through that, that adversity? I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we can't really blow the whistle ourselves. We're not wearing the stripes, uh, but at the same time, you know, we just got to keep going and, and just focus on us. I think once we start playing into the ref's hands, uh, it kind of gets out of control. So we can't even focus on that. If it's a bad call, straight up call, okay, cool. We just got to keep playing. And that's how we're slowly starting to learn and understand that. Jesse? Hey, Asia, um, Bill said that in the fourth quarter, one of the timeouts, he asked Chelsea what she wanted. I'm just curious, when you guys were coming out of the timeout, walked out onto the floor, was there anything that she was kind of communicating to you guys at that time? Uh, no, I mean, we all knew that the best, the best person to have the ball in their hands is Chelsea Gray at this time. And uh, we all trusted her in that fact. And I think we both like knew it was going to be between us. So we kind of heard things on the defensive side and just played basketball. I mean, this is this is WNBA basketball. And I'm glad we were allowed to show how exciting and how great our game really is. So uh, it was a big deal for her, of course, to make that shot. But at the same time, for our fans and for the game. So uh, we were all on board with that decision. Awesome. Thanks, Asia. Yep. Anne Marie. Asia, you played with Plum now for three seasons. She wasn't in uh, last year, obviously. Can you talk a little bit about her progression, especially in these last two games, defensively, what Plum yeah. has been able to do? I mean, KP brings that spark, that fire that we need off of the bench. Um, no matter what, no matter how many, how many minutes she's playing or Everywhere she, her presence on the court is just so effective because you have to guard her no matter what. And uh, I'm just so happy to see her moving. Uh, she's a warrior through and through. Uh, just coming off of that Achilles injury, I can only imagine uh, how it would be for me. And she's taking it head on. So uh, just having her out there is truly special. And we're still trying to get gel and mesh. She's still trying to find her way through. But I mean, we're going to be behind her 100%. And then with her and Hamby coming off the bench, the pace even picks up more. Oh, yeah. um, than anybody else's bench, I think, <laughs> when they come in. And so, again, for you to get some relief sometimes, how great is it that you never know who it's going to be? It's going to be Chelsea. It's going to be Jackie Young with 27. It might be you, Liz, you know. Right. I mean, that's the sign of a good team. Uh, we always say, you know, try, try to – our depth can take us a long way. And uh, it's always good to know that if you are sitting down for a couple minutes or even on the court, like, there's no drop off from when our bench players come in. Uh, and I don't even like using the word bench players, but when the second unit comes in. So it, it's huge for us when they turn up that heat and I'm like, all right, I gotta lace my shoes up a little bit cause it's gonna get uh, up and down, but that's what they're for. And they're really good at it. Eat dinner. Thank you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Nick. Hey Asia, congratulations on the win. Um, when you spoke earlier in the season, you were saying how in order for you all to be champions, you have to go through this team right here. Uh, what, how big is this win for you all and for you and, and this team mentally uh, in, in the way you all won today? I mean, it, it, it's big uh, in a sense that it's like, you know, later on down the road when it's coming to seeding or playoffs, the series is going to matter. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> everyone turns up the heat in playoffs. So this Seattle team's not even going to look like that in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, you just take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it's good to have this win. But at the same time, I think we need to focus on us more of how we can do better and get better because 
it have been times where we had slip ups and you can't do that against a team like Seattle. So I think we got to use this win uh, to still focus on us and still learn as if the outcome was different. And the second question for me is, uh, did you get a chance to watch the verses between Bow Wow and Soldier Boy? And if so, who, who you got winning? Come on now. Of course I did. All right. I'm a soldier <laughs> girl through and through. Like, I love me some Soulja Boy, but Bow Wow really took it over. Like, the hits that he's got is 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 all about it. But it was a great versus. I loved it. That was, like, right up my alley. It took me back to middle school and high school. So it's just a lot of fun to see them uh, come together. So I don't know. I'm a soldier girl, but at the same time, Bow Wow really, he brought the heat. <laughs> Thanks, Asia. Yep. Anne-Marie, Soldier Boy, and Bow Wow are hip-hop artists of this century. You probably are not aware of them. <laughs> Your children can probably help you. There's no reason for you to come for me, Jiggy, unless I send right. it for you. That was, that was messed up. <laughs> last, last question. Uh, I think Corey. Hey, Asia. Congrats on the win. Thank you. So we just had uh, Chelsea, you know, come on and you know, she uh, kind of talked about her take on the game, but how impactful would she be for this team in terms of your goals? It, uh, it seems this move with, you know, bringing her on board was the missing piece this team needed. Yeah, I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, she's the link that holds us together. She's our point guard. She's our leader. Um, and I would trust her with the basketball last second shot, no matter what. Uh, just her basketball IQ, you know, she's going to hit the right person at the right time. Uh, not saying she's, I'm pretty sure she wants to be perfect and never turn the ball over, but shit happens. Like, it's okay. And that's on us to make sure that we're there and make sure that she's comfortable enough to continue to make those passes because her decision making is right on point. And I think that's what we needed uh, coming into the season and seasons later on. And it's a big deal for us. Thanks a lot, Asia. Go get some grub. See you.